Cessno, please go up to the stage. Hi, hello everyone. Uh, it is my pleasure to be here to represent Armour Prism today. So Armour Prism is a software development company that specializes in developing the software as a medical devices. So I am Shinichi Kasuno, the CEO of Armour Prism. After graduating at Kyoto University, I worked at uh, Nintendo as a game designer for five years. During my time at Nintendo, I strongly felt that video games had a great potential to go beyond just entertainment. So our core product is ARC. So this is a psychotherapy via video game. ARC is a healthcare solution that seeks to assist the children with ADHD through holistic cognitive assessment technology that we intend to market to both the medical and the consumer markets. So ADHD is a neurodevelopmental disorder affecting an estimated 5 million people in Japan and over 500 million worldwide. Left unchecked, uh, ADHD becomes a gateway to several secondary disabilities. Early intervention, however, can significantly alter the trajectory of a child's life in a positive way. So ARC's game play data reveals cognitive qualities and abilities directly linked to ADHD symptoms. These metrics correspond to existing ADHD symptom measurement systems allowing data-driven and evidence-based analysis of patient behaviors. Ultimately, this product allows both parents and the professionals to gain insight into ADHD symptoms quicker and easier than ever before. Our product and the service provide a pipeline to involve the QOL, starting with 30-minute gameplay session, the software will provide instant analysis of the patient's behavioral data through a cognitive profile. Caregivers are then provided with the data-driven individualized feedback, allowing them to adjust to the unique care requirements of their child on a daily basis. So our company has already achieved uh, several milestones uh, towards our missions. So we have already completed the production of our prototype and have finished the clinical trials involving 30 plus pediatric ADHD patients. Results have been promising, showing that our product can measure behavioral and the clinical traits, much like uh, traditional neuropsychological uh, tests and the rating skills but in the way that reflects real life settings and the problems. Our core technology is currently patent pending and we have submitted an academic paper for peer review. Discussions with a PMDA for medical device approval are in progress right now. So here are some case studies that demonstrate the value of the collected data in both situations, medical professionals were able to use the data collected by our product in order to offer psychotherapy advice that had a real outcome on the patient's quality of life. These examples demonstrate how our product can deliver quick, data-driven, and personalized feedback without high cost for diagnosis. The market size for our product is expected to be quite large. The minimal market includes patients who have already been diagnosed uh, with ADHD in Japan. However, the product can easily be extended to those who have not yet been diagnosed and are suffering the symptoms of behavioral disorders. Finally, 
we can expand our product to reach the global market for both diagnosed and subclinical patients. So this diagram demonstrates our business model. Administrators download the ARC application and the purchase per patient play ticket. When their child uses the software, their play data will be automatically sent to the Armor Prism server and analyzed automatically. Administrations will then be able to access uniquely generated advice from our web portal application. They can act on this advice to provide personalized psychotherapy to their child. ARC employs a dual market strategy by developing two products based on our core technology that leverages innovative design to operate in both the healthcare and the medical device market. By combining the minimally invasive and the convenient features of the home healthcare product with the scientific rational and the reliability of a medical device, Armor Prism will have a strong brand positioning in the marketplace. Currently, our only competition is Akili from Shionogi. However, Akili's product is a method for training a specific cognitive function, while our product offers a method for identifying and measuring the cognitive function that needs to be trained. Thus, Akili is not a direct competitor and we can operate in parallel. The continued validation of our current product is expected to continue throughout this year. By 2025, we expect to sell our consumer healthcare application service in Japan. By 2027, we will complete our dual market strategy and begin uh, selling our product as a medical device. We will enact our exit strategy through IPO in 2031 and further support the global recognition and approval of our product as a medical device. So this uh, is the core team that is driving our present missions forward. We are also proud to be collaborating with renowned clinical researchers that specialize in ADHD and ASD as well. Our academic partners provide us the unique advantage of the doorway into academic and the professional societies where we can share our work through conferences. We hope to use this advantage to help cultivate positive PR in professional communities. We are currently seeking a pipeline to access uh, overseas market, particularly in the areas of uh, regulations and the market demand for both consumer healthcare application and the medical devices. We are also seeking $1 million for short-term funding that we intend to use towards development and the clinical study expenses here in Japan. Depending on overseas strategies, uh, devised with the partners, additional funding may be required. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr.